So now we are in Majorstua. 10 minutes that way, mm -hmm. you'll have all the shops, restaurants, bars, everything. Nice. 10 minutes that way is school. Cool. It's a two-bedroom apartment. The size of the bedrooms are different. Oh. It doesn't have a balcony, but it's newly renovated. It's located in the first floor, but it still has this big window, so I think it will still give a lot of light. Ah, that's nice. It's $1,600 a month. That's great. It has a little bit of Norwegian charm as well. Oh, that's cool. Let's go Let's have a look. It. Yeah. Thank you. Welcome. Wow, has a lot of light. Yes, right? This has the open space that you want. Mm -hmm. It's also newly renovated. Yeah, I can see it's totally modern. Yeah. And it also has this old fireplace. That's uh, an original charm. And I would get the furniture, right? Yes. I love the natural light, but uh, I'm a little bit concerned about the neighbors seeing me. Are you sure they won't be able to see what's going on inside? What are you planning to do inside here? No, nothing wild, you know, <laughs> but maybe some parties with my friends and stuff. Okay, well, you can always get some curtains. Yeah, I'm not gonna do anything illegal. It's just that uh, I like some privacy. Here we have the main bedroom. Mm -hmm. It's not very big, but I like the desk. Yes, a place yeah. where you can study. Whoa, look at the size of the wardrobe. Yeah, and the bed actually fits two people. Just saying. <laughs> nice. <laughs> I'm not sure if Camila's flirting with me. No. I mean, she's married. Six single right now, but he may not stay single forever. And of course he needs a bed that fits two people. And here we have bedroom number two. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a bit small, I would say. It's not too big, but I guess it will be where you'll have your roommate, maybe. I'm a bit worried about finding a roommate if the room is that small. I only can pay 800, and if I don't find a roommate, I can't afford the apartment. I do understand his reaction, but that's also why he can afford an apartment with two bedrooms in this area. Okay, it's a bit small. I know, but it got a shower and a toilet, so I guess you have what you need. I don't think Camila did such a good job with this apartment. It has the open concept. It has the Norwegian charm I was talking about, but the bathroom is a bit small mm -hmm. and the second bedroom is a bit small. Maybe I'll struggle to find a roommate. Oh, and it doesn't have a balcony. For the price that you're keen on spending, this is the best that I can get you. I don't think it will be a problem getting a roommate. Uh, the rental market in Oslo is boiling. Perhaps Camila can be a bit too positive, but maybe she just wants to make the deal happen. Welcome to Grineleka. I've heard it's a good neighborhood to party. It's a very vibrant area with a lot of people, restaurants, bars. What about the nightclubs? A lot of them. Young people in Oslo, when they go out, they go out here. Nice. Yeah. It's also not that far from your school. It will take you about 15 minutes. The house that I'm showing you now is a very big one bedroom, Oh. but has a balcony. Is this it? Yep. Oh. I'm not loving the outside. I know the facade is not the best, but you got a lot for the money. It's only $1,000 a month. Just wait till you see inside. So quite a difference between outside and inside. It's so beautiful and bright, a lot of plants. Come on in. Thank you. You have the open concept. You can have a lot of people for dinner. It's not as modern as I would love it. The oven might be a bit old, but this is exactly what I meant with open space. It's yes. Let's see if the couch is comfortable enough. Yeah, yeah. Already feeling at home, yes. that's good. Oh, nice, fresh air. Yeah, even though it's not a lot of sun, you still have a place to be outside, which is nice. Oh, the little cute table. This could be my Norwegian charm. <laughs> we could have a glass of wine here. Totally. I just wish I could get in Zeke's head. He keeps saying that he likes it. At the same time, I don't think he looks really happy, so I'm confused. Let's go check out the bedroom. It's quite big. Yeah. It does have a TV. I love that. <laughs> One more TV. Yeah. Look at the wardrobe. You might need to go shopping now. 
Wow. Yeah, this will definitely be even too big for me, maybe. I don't have a lot of clothes. Yeah, that's why you need to go shopping. Yeah. That lamp is horrible. I'm sure you can take it down yes. and you can keep it in the wardrobe. Oh, and uh, look at the bed. Oh, yeah, so fluffy. I'm not sure if I was rude. Not all my clients jumps in the bed. Um, but I mean, I just want him to feel home, so have fun. A lot of light in the bedroom, I love that. I am a bit worried though that you can see me in the bed. I'm a bit of an erotic guy. <laughs> Get some curtains. Yeah, that'll fix it. <laughs> and the bathroom. Okay, tiles are a bit old. Yeah. But that's okay. It's quite big and has a laundry machine. And it has this big shower. Mm -hmm. who actually also fit two people. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good apartment, it's so big. It has the open space we talked about. The balcony, ah, oh, that was awesome. Overall, I really liked it and that's a problem because I'm not sure if I can afford it. Actually, it's not that much more than you would have to spend with a roommate. And wouldn't it be nice to just live alone? I hear you, I'm still worried. Okay. Camila might not get it because she is Norwegian, but thinking that $200 is not a lot of money, that's crazy. Can you feel the calm and the nature? I hear you, but it's not really my thing. <laughs> I mean, I am still in my 20s. All right. Well, it's not that far from the city center. You can actually walk. It will take about 20 minutes. And the bus to your school leaves right up here and it takes you about 25 minutes. Ah, that's great. I'm gonna show you a two-bedroom apartment. Mm -hmm. And it also has this little cozy balcony. It's fantastic. I love the architecture. You also have this beautiful backyard where you can chill. You can have really big parties here. Yeah, it's quite big also. I could have friends over, have a beer. Absolutely, there's a barbecue. Ooh. <laughs> Dirty, but I like it. Good. This apartment is $1,800 a month. What? Okay, <laughs> too much? Um, well, there's two very big rooms. Maybe you can take higher rent from your roommate. <laughs> it's a nice kitchen. I love the color of the wall, the watery green. It's also very spacious. So you can imagine yourself cooking here? I can, but it's not the open concept we talked about. You know how I like to entertain my guests? Yeah. Even though it's not in the same room, it's still kind of connected. I'm trying to show Zeke alternatives. He can't get everything. He needs to understand that. It's a lot of windows. The light is perfect. Yeah, it's quite modern. I like the chairs. I really like the wood floor. Yeah. Yes, and all these shelves. Do you have a lot of books? No, but I can put my speaker there. You could. I don't love the lamp, it's horrible. You can always change the lamp. Should we go outside? Yeah. Cozy, so right? So nice, so many flowers. Yeah. So cute. And um, here you have the sun all afternoon. I love to enjoy a good sunset over a drink. Beautiful. I can see the whole city from here. Yeah. But it might be a bit too far. I would like to be near the bars and restaurants. So over here, we have the main bedroom. Ooh, it's a decent size. The bed is huge. Ooh, it's nice. And this lamp I love. That's good. I have a thing for lamps. Okay. I like this room. It's beautiful that I have natural light, but imagine if I had a view. Yeah, the view will be from the other side. You can't have both. No, I can't get everything. <laughs> It's a bit dated, don't you think? It is. And the shower is a bit small. No washing machine. In the basement? Mm, yeah. I'm not very satisfied, but I guess I have to give up some things. And then the second bedroom. Okay. Decent size, yeah. great desk. Do you think you could get a roommate here? Yeah, this will do it. Yeah, mm. good. I'm going to be living with a total stranger, so I think it's nice that we have our separate space. I mean, it's a huge apartment. It's a great apartment. It has a great balcony with a view. The backyard is beautiful. Yeah. And I think the bedrooms are big enough. Mm -hmm. But I don't like the bathroom. And the kitchen being separate to the living room, it's a bit above my limit. And it's a bit far from the city. 
Is that a deal breaker to you? It might be. Okay. You like to be where it all happens. Yeah, I love living in the city. The places that Camille has showed me are great. I could live in all of them. When it all comes down to it, you need to decide if the size is the most important or how central you need it to be. Let's start with the modern one. I love that it's central. I really like the open space. Mm -hmm. The main bedroom is quite good, but the small bedroom is too small. So I might struggle finding a roommate. That's the risk. But in this area, people are in line to rent a place like this. Let's move on to the one bedroom. The neighborhood was very nice, but the outside of the apartment was a bit weird. Don't you agree? It was a little sad, but this is different, right? Totally. The balcony is very nice. It has two TVs. I mean, I grew up sharing one TV with eight siblings. Can you imagine like having a TV in my own bedroom? The bathroom though is very old. It's big though. And the price, of course. It's only a little bit more than you'll have to spend with a roommate. So that's why I wanted to share it with you. Should we move on to the one with the view? Yeah. So much nature. <sighs> so much fresher. The backyard it was amazing. Mm -hmm. I felt like it wasn't in Oslo. It was a bit too far. But that's the thing you have to give up to get all this space and the balcony and also the garden. Don't get me wrong, I love it, but it's a lot of money given that it's outside of the city. I totally see that, okay. So it sounds like that one is going? Yeah, that's no longer an option. I think that what you are most concerned about is if you get to rent out the small room. You read my mind. <laughs> if you are really concerned, maybe you should consider taking the small bedroom yourself and you should rent out the big room. I think that'll make it a lot easier to find a roommate. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sounds like you made up your mind. Let's go for the modern one. I'm loving my new life in Oslo. I started university, things are going good, and the commute is not that bad. I finally found a roommate. It took some time, but he's moving in next week, and I'm very excited to meet him. I'm still single, but I'm actually going on a blind date next week. That should be a lot of fun. I feel very proud that I made this move happen. I've had to overcome some obstacles, but I'm here. I'm doing everything I ever wanted. It's just great. <laughs>